Hi guys, I just wanted to show you how I wrap my hands. Um, I can show you this in person at the club before training at some point. Um, but that's what it looks like, the finished product. Nice and firm. When you grip your hand, it tightens up all around your hand, protects your fingers, protection around the thumb here and around all the, the, uh, the big uh, knuckles that you punch with. It's nice and firm and tight, no slippage, it's good. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap this hand. So I've just taken this off, so I'm going to put it back on again. So what I like to do is the, the, the threading I find on most hand wraps, and it probably is true for all hand wraps, um, if you put that down against your hand, then the Velcro is the right way up at the end. But I put it across my thumb like that, across the back of my arm, and then I come round my wrist one, two, three times. Not really tight, but firm. So it's not gonna slip, it's not loose, but it's not too tight. And then I come across the palm of my hand here, up here, and then I go around my knuckles three times with my fingers open because I don't want it too tight. So I open my fingers a little bit and I go around once, twice, three times, straight across the middle of my knuckles there. And then I come round across the top of my hand, across the palm here, and then I come round the back of my thumb like that. So around the back of the thumb. Then I come across the palm again, opening up, because it bunches up a bit when you go round a corner. So I open it up again, nice and flat, come over the top of the back of my hand again, then I go round the thumb on the inside. You see, this is that little opening here. I go around the thumb there and come around the back again. Then from there, I'm gonna come round the back again, under the thumb, and then we're going to start going between the fingers. So you come over the thumb and you come between the fingers. So the first one, you put it flat against your finger and it just slides in. Okay. And then you come under the thumb again, over the top and through the second one. Nice and flat, but it slides in. Then you go around the back of the thumb again. Nice and flat against the finger, but then it slides down on its own as you pull it round, and then round the back of the thumb again, the fourth time for around the outside of the little finger. And then I come across the palm here and between the, the thumb and, and your index finger. And then that comes around the back and that feels really nice and tight now, but not too tight. Nice firm grip and then I come round actually I'm going to go down under the thumb so under the thumb just to cover that last little bit that's not been covered and then I come across the palm again so from un where you've gone under the thumb round across and then up through that same bit again and then I'm going to weave under over couple more times and then I'm going to bring it back down to the wrist again nice and firm but not too tight again one two three and then finish off by attaching the velcro to the bit there now when I did the unboxing of this blitz stuff uh, I compared these to my RDX ones after putting them on I can now say that they are a little bit thinner than my RDX ones, but they still feel good on the hands. This Velcro strap is thinner than the thickness of the actual hand wrap, which is actually quite nice because it stops. There's no, normally you have to worry about the edge of this Velcro being too low here and it rubbing against your skin. But because this is a bit thinner, it attaches to the velcro uh, to the uh, to the to itself without being too low and it's uh, off the edge there so it won't rub against your skin 
so I'm going to go and try these out. I'm going to go and put the uh, the Blitz Centurion gloves on and the Blitz Centurion shin guards on, and uh, see how they feel.